In this Business Tech Planet video, we'll show you how to create table rules in Microsoft Loop. But first, we're introducing the new Microsoft Teams Bible. It's free to download for all our newsletter readers. And you get all the essentials needed to get up and running in Microsoft Teams, including clear steps and images to guide you through the process. To start mastering Microsoft Teams, just hit the link and download your free copy. A recent update to Microsoft Loop allows you to automate actions based on changes made to a table column. These automations are currently limited to sending emails or Teams chat and channel messages. But this update simplifies automation, as users don't need to build flows manually in Power Automate. To demonstrate how you might use this feature, we'll start by adding a progress tracker. We'll add some generic tasks. And to begin with, we'll select not started. If you're wondering what blockers are, these are simply subtasks that you might need to finish in order to complete the whole task. And you can check these off the list as you go through. Once you've added your tasks, head up and click the rule icon. Then click the column drop down and select the column to check for changes. In this example, we want to send an email to the project leader whenever a task is set to complete, so we'll choose the status column. Next, click the drop down next to becomes and choose equals. Then, in the select drop down, choose completed. This means the automation will trigger whenever the status column is changed to completed. Now click the automate drop down and select send an email. Then click continue. Click next. On the following page, click the input box under Outlook 2. Then enter the names of whoever you want to send the email to. In the input box below, enter a subject for the email. Finally, head down and click create flow. You can follow the same process to make additional table rules. And next to each rule, you'll have the option to edit, delete, or turn the rule on or off. To test the rule, we can change the status of the first row to completed. Currently, you can't determine which row was changed. But if we head to Outlook, we can see that an email has been received, indicating that a status has been changed to completed. The email includes the time and the user who made the change. And there's also a link to the page where the change occurred. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for important Microsoft news and updates, and a chance to win prizes, be sure to hit the link in the description, and join our newsletter today.